Okay, so another exciting announcement from Fox is that they now support a wireless smart CT system. I've got a quick diagram to show you about the arrangement and how this would all work. And also I've got the devices in hand to show you a bit more detail. So let's have a quick look at what we're talking about. First of all is a new uh, Chint DDSU666 single phase smart meter. So this will go somewhere near your supply meter and it has a CT uh, clamp just like what you would need today, a traditional CT clamp. But this one, instead of going all the way to the inverter, connects into this device. So I've got one to scale in front of me as well. So that's it. It's got your ports for the power and ports for the CT to terminate to. And that will go somewhere near your meter. And then the second part of all of this is you get two of these. Now I've got a bigger image on the screen. Uh, there's ports on the top for power, which go from 85 volts to 277 volts. And then you've got um, an RS-485 port A and B where you connect uh, well, I suppose if you wanted to do a hardwire solution, but there's also, this is the magic piece. On the bottom, there is an aerial antenna connection and Fox Supply uh, stubby aerials that connect into this. So you, you get two of these in the, in the pack, as well as the smart meter, and the connection between these transmitter and receivers, that's the wireless part. So if we look at a traditional uh, setup, you'll have your meter being being provided by your power supply um, in this case depicted by octopus they're an energy company it's transmitted through the power system to the dno meter so that's the traditional smart meter that you get billed uh, using and then but somewhere between that and your house loads you'll have a small white or black ct clamp clipped around one of the cables and that has a wire that goes all the way back into your inverter and that allows the inverter to sense a few grid properties like voltage and current and frequency, but it also allows it to sense which direction the current is flowing. And that allows the inverter to either charge from excess solar or discharge when your house loads exceed your solar production or overnight when there is no solar. So having a CT clamp that's connected and wired into your inverter if it's a battery system is is required for it to be able to discharge from the battery if you've got just a standard solar inverter with no battery they often don't have ct clamps because they're not needed the inverter would just turn power from the panels and just inject it straight into your supply but if you've got a battery system you will have one of these ct clamps somewhere around your meter area so the change and that's that we still have the CT clamp, but this time it only goes into what they're calling the smart meter. It's different to your billing meter, but it's this small smart meter box. And then that has a small cable that connects to one of these on your, on your energy side. And then you can go up to 300 meters wirelessly uh, to your inverter, where you have the second one of these that you install near to your inverter and then there's a short piece of cable that connects into the COM port of the inverter. Obviously, depending on interference and if you've got any buildings or large metal structures that could impact the wireless performance, but line of sight 300 meters, reducing just like any other radio wave system, depending on interference and obstacles. So the official chip instructions uh, say a solid 200 so somewhere between 200 and 300 is uh would, would work but the further away you get it could probably go further if it's a line of sight as well so we had a chat with craig yesterday from fox on the um the q a video and we were talking a little bit about the wireless setup and why it'd be advantageous and the the key thing is well one installation ease so instead of having to run um a hardwire cable all the way to near your meter area from your 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 inverter you can now do that wirelessly so it's particularly important if you've got an outbuilding say um you've got another building on site maybe a garage and it's um it's got power but it doesn't have an easy way of installing a hard line connection so you could run the traditional ct 
probably more more advantageous if you've got a larger property with various outbuildings, garages, barns that have power. Uh, but digging a trench, I think, was the example that was um, that, that this solves basically. So, yeah, gone are the days of being required to have a hardwired CT. It'd be nice if this product evolves to a point where it's a little bit like what um, what my energy have with the Harvey, which is a a self powered CT transmitter. It doesn't have the same range as this. It's much shorter range. But there's no need to wire anything and it's all done automatically and it uses um, sort of a local protocol. But hey, as another installation option for the CT, and the most important thing about this is that it's compatible with single phase. There have been some LoRa devices and some solutions for three phase customers, but nothing in the Fox sphere for single phase customers. So these devices that I've been uh, sent to install and test these are for a single phase, hence why this smart meter is, is still has a CT to read that single phase supply. So I'm going to get this all connected up and uh, and see how it goes, provide some feedback to Fox and tune out any bugs or gotchas whilst the documentation is being made as well. But I thought I'd share what a wireless CT looks like for a Fox single phase setup. Thanks for watching.